Because we're, we're, we're doing a project. We're decorating all day. Why don't you... This is our niece, Libby Kate. <laughs> she's three, and she's about to get her very own <laughs> big girl room. You'll see. The only problem is that the room looks like this. Boring, gray, no personality. So as her aunts, we had to give her an extra special makeover. Tell me what you guys are doing. We're going into my special room. We're going into my room. We're going into your new room? Okay, show us the way. Look how pretty it is. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Kathy. And we're the DIY sisters. Caitlin took the design lead on this one. I did, and I was inspired by the color shapes of a 1960s mid-century style design. And Libby Kate loves bugs. She does. We don't. So we wanted to incorporate them in a really cute way and not a gross way. Our next up was the pink paint. And our sister had already purchased the comforter, so we wanted to use that as inspiration for our paint colors. We do this color on the walls, <coughs> on that wall. Okay. Mm. And then we do like a yellow, maybe mustardy or an orange for the bookcase. So that's not exactly what we decided on. But in my defense, it was pretty close. Well, we went with this teal for the accent wall and this light green for the other three walls. And we decided to do two arches instead of one. So the larger arch would be this pretty mustard and the smaller one would be a pinky mauve. And once we had those paint colors decided, we were off to the Home Depot. <laughs> Anything you want to say to the subscribers? Tippity tap. I like this. <laughs> Tell us, are you Home Depot or Lowe's? Team Home Depot or Team Lowe's? I feel like there's major Comment competition. Below. Comment below. Well, the first options you gave me, we were in a fight. <laughs> so we got home and got straight to painting. We thought it would take us an hour, but spoiler alert, it took us like way longer than that. We bought Home Depot's cheapest paint that we could get and a pint of this light green and we started on those three walls. It looks kind of light on camera, but I promise you it dried to a beautiful shade of green. And next was the feature wall. You ready? Let's see. All right, let's see how this baby looks. Oh, I'm shaking because we've been working. <laughs> oh, it looks mighty light. It does look light. That's yeah, light very tonal, nice. very tonal. I like, I like, I like. Yeah. Okay. I think we nailed it. Yeah. I think we're killing it. <laughs> like Cassie said, we got the cheapest paint they had, but we were really impressed with the coverage. We did a couple coats of paint, we went to bed really tired, but we woke up ready for day two. Go stand on that parking spot. Oh. Here we go. Look at this, look at this song. Look at all their bugs over there in the front. Wave at the camera. <laughs> So we got a pillow, maybe two. Yeah, Home Goods was like weirdly a bust that day. Yeah, it was. Except we got a lamp. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The cute little mushroom-shaped lamp that was a perfect peaky mauve color that matched back to one of our arches on the wall. Very trendy piece. Very cute. Mm. Went with our sort of bugsy woodsy mod mushroom theme. Then we went to the Dollar Tree to get all the things we need for our various DIYs. The goal for the rest of day two was to finish painting the arches. And with the walls being super wonky, we had to eyeball most of it. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop you right there and tell you that every method we used was incorrect. Do not do what we do. <laughs> Instead, you just take a tack or a nail and you put the string on the wall using that and then you trace it. Don't rely on your finger, it's just, it's not gonna work. Yeah, so here's a clip of us trying to tell you what to do but doing it terribly wrong. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do what we do. Don't, don't do it this way. I don't, this isn't right. So don't, don't do it our way. <laughs> now we have two. <laughs> 
Did it make it? No! So we used the paper as a template and eyeballed the rest. And if you want to get that crispy clean chef's kiss line, you gotta paint over the tape in the original paint color. Once that dries, you paint over it, and then that's how you get a Krispy Kreme donut. There's the gold, it's uneven. Listen, there were too many lines. This looks great. The same thing with our second arch, except for this time we reverse engineered it. We started from the paper and then used the tape. Again, don't do this. <laughs> Hot tip, phone brush, fine line, love that. So at the end of day two, Cassie snapped this sweet pic. It was messy, okay, and I'm sorry, it was the only footage I've got. It's all right, I, know, I didn't take a picture. So this you, is true. So you get photo cred. This is true. Okay. So our first two days, we painted everything and went shopping for supplies. Now on to day three. Oh, there you are. <laughs> we, went to, we went to the Dollar Tree because we want to make a fun DIY for the shelving that will hold Libby Kate's books. And so I found this in the autumn section. You see it has like a little pumpkin on the edge. And then these really cute mushroom little wooden things. So we're going to turn this into a little shelf that's inspired by Alexandra Gator's record holder shelf if you saw that. We'll either stain it, paint it, I'm not really sure, but let's just start with hammering away. Okay. I then arranged the mushrooms in a symmetrical way, um, put them on the edge of the box, and then used construction adhesive to glue them all down, and just played around with it. This is obviously super flimsy wood and it's barely held together as you saw with the deconstruction. So we're trying out a different method where instead of it going against the wall like this, it's gonna go against the wall like this and the mushrooms will go here. So I'm currently putting some construction adhesive on the seam in the back where they're connected just so that we get some extra protection. And then once that dries, I'll put the mushrooms here and then we'll see how it goes. This was a much better method and it's what we ended up going with. And when we put the book on the shelf, it looked like this. It was super cute. For our second DIY, we wanted to create a clothespin line where the girls could hang their artwork or pictures. Once everything dried, we glued the bugs to the string and the clothespins to the bugs with construction adhesive. Under the watchful eye of the moon, we began our third DIY. Caitlin wanted to outline the mirror in these wooden balls, and so we ordered three different sizes on Amazon. I wanted to see what size would work best. Unfortunately, none of them fit around the circumference of the mirror. They did not. So that was my bad. And we had to use all three different sizes to make a cute pattern around it. But I like how it turned out. Yeah, and we just used construction adhesive to glue it to the edge. Let it dry overnight and then it was ready to hang. Back at Target. Yeah, I think it'll get too mad. So we just picked up a few things for styling. A rug, some baskets, some more pillows. Cute, cute, cute. We found our Sherpa. This is, it was meant to be. <laughs> and we started putting the room back together. This up. Ah, so cute. And then you just put the little artwork. Curtains first or rug first? Curtains, curtains. Curtains, curtains. Right. curtains. All right, let's go. Got the curtains. Super cute, go with our color scheme, but not too, too matchy-matchy. Anthropology, we'll add the link below. <laughs> Baskets, Target. We got a little bit of green running through them. Yeah. That's great with the sage. Cute. 
I think it's adorable. It's yeah, a kid's it room. We're gonna put the chair, it's gonna go there, which will take up most of it. Little cozy pillows. And it'll be cute. All right, you I'm ready? ready. Cassie's gonna yell action and we're gonna start, but you, you gotta stay quiet and be out of the shot. Right there. Action. No, we found this super cute, <laughs> this is a super cute lamp from TJ. It goes back to like our mushroom theme. Yes, yeah, so this is kinda cute. Oh, <laughs> she said a rib looks kinda cute. You're not supposed to look yet, baby. Off camera, we did a lot of things. We got kind of busy. We did. We hung the mushroom bookshelves. The frame picture of the bugs. And the DIY mirror. Let's remember what it looked like before. Gray, everything. Who lives there? Not Boring. A, not a toddler. Kids don't live up in here. <laughs> and here's the after. show the girls. Oh, are you excited? Can you tell me what you guys are doing? We're going into my room. We're going into my room. Going into your new room? Okay, show us the way. Sassy and Nanny did this for us. Look how pretty it is. Do you love it? Painted a lot. Looks wonderful. Oh, you like the mirror? Wow. Oh, yep. Yeah, book. Look at it. Look, you have a little reading nook. Wow. There's all these bugs over here that you love. <laughs> mushroom this is my handprint. That's your handprint. Is. Oh, you see the mushroom? <laughs> you got a new book. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. We had so much fun doing this for our niece. They are obsessed with it. I know we didn't really mention our other little niece, but it's because our sister kind of threw her in the middle of all this, being like, she's going to move in too. She, she's going to be in the bed too. And we were yeah. like, oh. oh. She so, doesn't like, like bugs. bugs that much. She likes ladybugs. But she looked at that uh, framed picture and she said, disgusting. Oh. So, anyway, uh, we had a lot of fun. We only got in five fights every single day, and that, that was good. That so, was good for us. <laughs> Our track record. If you want to see more of the stuff that we do of the things, then, <laughs> then you have to do the subscribing. All you have to do is click the butt. Ten. <laughs>
One, two, three. Hey! Subscribe! <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> Caitlin wanted to outline the mirror and wouldn't fault. <laughs> Under the watchful eye of the moon, our third DIY began. <laughs> the moon. We began our third. <laughs> Wanna take the whole thing? I'll try the whole thing. All right, you go. <laughs> I ordered three different sized wooden balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid! That's so stupid! It's so stupid. Oh, it's okay. so stupid. Can't, can't oh, I can do it this time, I swear. Under the watchful eye of the moon, we <laughs> Under the watchful eye of the moon, we began our third DIY. I ordered three different sized wooden balls from Amazon. <laughs> I can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> Just give me one more shot. Okay. Under the watchful eye of the moon, we begin. <laughs> Caitlin wanted to put little wooden balls all around the <laughs> circumference. I don't like my name in little wooden balls. I don't like it. Just say balls. Wooden balls. Okay. All right. Caitlin wanted to cover the circumference of the mirror in these cute wooden balls. <laughs> Caitlin wanted to cover the mirror in wooden balls. So we ordered. 